PeteTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Pete's Tools. It's a bit miserable outside here today, so I thought I'd do a video. Today I want to have a bit of a yarn about what's the correct air pressure for running these little plasma torches. A lot of people were asking and they don't know what the correct pressure is. Well, I just said it so it cuts the best, me personally. But we'll do a little experiment and I'll run it on three different pressures and I'll show you what it does and what it doesn't do with your cut. Anyway guys, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment and let's get into this, eh? Right guys, the first cut we're going to do is at two bar. See two bar there? See every two bar is about 30 pounds, so I'll pull the trigger, you watch it seals at two bar. There you go, about two bar. So what I'll do guys, so it's a fair test, before I do every individual cut with the three different cuts, I'm going to put new consumables in. So it's a fair test. So we'll take the old consumables out, get rid of them Pete, don't need them, and we'll put some nice nickel plated ones in. I like nickel plated, but I'm just funny like that. <laughs> right, put them in like so. Right, nice new set of consumables. So what I'm going to do guys is cut this quarter inch, see, quarter inch steel here, and I'm going to cut it on 30 pound air pressure. So let's see if we can actually cut it. Pretty ugly guys. Very slow. Cut it. I wouldn't say it was brilliant cut. Hoop, set myself on fire, Pete. Hoo -hoo. And that's how we ended up with our cut, like so. Can you also see guys that sort of blowing a big hole in the tip there? Not really enough air pressure. I'll try and cut half inch with it at 30 pounds, see what happens. Right, so I've got two quarter inch together. We'll try and whack it off at 30 pound of air pressure. As you can see guys, this isn't working at all. It's just turning to crap basically. See guys, that just doesn't have enough grunt at that sort of PSI to go through there, so I won't even bother trying to cut that again. And uh, the galvanise on this doesn't help either, but make sure you wear a mask if you're cutting galvanised stuff. Right, now we're going to do one at four bar, guys. Four bars, about 60 pounds. Pull the trigger, it settles at four. About four bar, 60 pounds. So because this tip's buggered, guys, I'll just change it out so that the test is pretty well relevant, you know. So we'll just change it out. This tip is... Um, shot so we'll put a new tip on and I'll also do the electrode but these are double ended electrodes so all I have to do is just turn them over like that you see that's just the equivalent of a new electrode so just turn them over reassemble them I'll put a new cutting tip on right now we'll try and cut this at 60 pounds 60 PSI with a new cutting tip. Definitely a lot better. A lot faster. Feels better. Beautiful. What's that cut like, Pete? See, that's a bit better cut, guys. It's a bit cleaner. So we'll try and do the same thing now, I'll do a half inch, we'll put two bits together again. Now you also notice guys, the cutting tip this time is not so naked. Yeah, it's because we're getting a little bit more air pressure through. Anyway, we'll try and cut the half inch. Half inch at 60 PSI.
How do we go, guys? Not too bad. A lot better than the 30 feet side. See, we'll cut it, guys. See, that's at 60 psi. That's not too bad. It's not too shabby. That would do the uh, quarter inch, no worries at all. At that sort of um, at that sort of air pressure. Remember to watch yourself if you're cutting galvanized stuff. Always wear a mask. And see that tip again, guys. It's not buggered at all. See, there's a little bit more air pressure. It just makes the life of your tips go a little bit longer. It makes cutting a hell of a lot easier. Anyway, guys, now we'll go and do it at 90 psi. Yeehaw! Right, so the next one, guys, we're going to do at 6 bar, which is about 90 pound. Settle down at 90 pound here. Beautiful! So what we'll do again, guys, just to keep things fair, even though this tip's not buggered, I'll change it out, and we'll put a new one in. And I'll have to put a new electrode in as well, because I've used both sides of this electrode. See that? I've used both sides. If you want to know about these double-ended electrodes, I'll put a link up the top of the video there, and have a look. I've got a couple of videos on them as well. So what we'll do is we'll put a new electrode in, like that, new tip, like so, reassemble them, Pete. <laughs> right, so there's 90 psi on quarter inch steel. Let's have a go. Well, a bit of a big difference between the 60 and the 90, you reckon? Let's have a look. Beautiful. Look at that cut, guys. Getting cleaner and cleaner all the time. It's at 90 psi. So what we'll do now is we will do the half inch at 90 psi. See if that'll cut. Here we go, guys. We'll try the half inch now. We'll try and cut half inch. <laughs> half inch, 90 psi. Look at that guys, hey, not too bad at all, hey? See that guy's not a bad cut at all. There you go, done. Beautiful. So there you go, cutting half inch, 90 psi. Definitely a lot easier the higher you go up in the psi. So guys, to answer your question, yeah, your air pressure makes a huge difference. I run my cut 40, cut 50 on between about 70 and 90 psi. I find I get the best cut out of it and it makes your consumables last a bit longer. I don't know if you've ever done it and by accident and just had your plasma cutter started without having the air compressor on. It normally buggers your consumable instantly. So that gives you an idea how important the air pressure is. But between 70 and 90 psi, that's what I use anyway, guys. Anyway, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. We'll see you next time. See you later. Pete's tools.com.